know, the one thing that I observe about leaders is that they practice making decisions. And I think that one of the things we've seen in terms of, of learning this morning is that everything's speeding up. Everything's about challenge and innovation. And it's, I see when I go into organizations, they're often paralyzed. They're not able to make decisions anymore because everything moves so quickly and you don't quite know what to do. And my view is that the more you practice making a decision, when the time comes to make really big decisions and to be the leader that you know you need to have to be. You're always learning and growing and stretching and the challenges of the world around us change and the challenges of your job changes depending on what you're doing and you know as you move through your career so you can never stop learning, you can never stop stretching yourself. My talk today is called Things That Leaders Can Learn From Coders. Um, quite a challenging title, um, but I'm quite excited about it because I'm setting a context for how the world has changed and how everything, every industry, every sector, all our behaviours are being radically affected by technology. And uh, the ones and zeros, the languages behind the screen, who understands them? Well, the developers do. And is there anything at all that leaders can actually learn from coders? But more importantly, how much we desperately need digital leadership. Whatever job you're in, you need to be learning something new every day. And if you're not, you're in the wrong job. Right? And this is what we say to our guys the whole time. We're like, what are you learning? What are you learning? What are you learning? If they're like, actually nothing, then we have to work out how to deal with it. It's like, you know, that's part of the whole equation to us. And this is number one priority. I love to see how people want to learn. That's what kind of touched me most when I start, uh, stepped on the stage. I just saw how people, how eager everybody was to learn. Something that I found a little bit uh, sad sometimes is when I feel like people are kind of closing and, and staying with what they already know. And I'm, I get very inspired by people who want to learn. I think we're at a really exciting time now whereby in 2015 we're starting to realise that uh, potential is within us all and we're all brilliant, it's just about unlocking that potential. So the art of brilliance is really key about, we're not looking from it outside or in manuals, it's all there, it's just about unlocking that and being the best version of ourselves so we can, we can live the lives that we want and, and help others to live their lives the way they want. The best thing about coming to events like this is I do find them energetic because people ask really good questions. But everyone needs to take a moment for themselves and to step out and really think about are they, are they operating at the best and highest level for them. Um, and I think events like this help do that. The energy in the room can get electric really, really quickly. When you have a collective of people who are hungry to learn, so they've come because they want to learn and because they want to be inspired, I think events like this can really, really make a difference to a wider population of people.